$5 customer appreciation day today at Wager Talk. We'll have details on that coming up in just a little bit. But the first order of business, got to turn this Major League Baseball thing around here in the second half. Mark Zinn and I, unfortunately, combined to go just one and two on yesterday's program. 16 and, or pardon me, 15 and 12 run overall. But we've got some early opportunities for you today to get back on track. The vast majority of the slate going in the daytime. And Mark Zeno, you have picked one of the early games to uh, jump into here as the Padres look for a sweep of the Nationals. I'm not going to bury the lead here at all. Uh, and screw the Padres and screw the Nationals and screw baseball. Uh, just, just generally, I haven't found any, anything more on America than baseball as of late than no! So uh, let's just get there. Our 5% play did not come home last night. Uh, it sucked. And it went down in smoking flames because Robbie Ray decided to reincarnate himself from six years ago and was unhittable last night. As he, they didn't, the Dodgers didn't get a freaking hit off him in five innings. So uh, that wasn't fun. It's a good thing I'm somewhat attractive and funny because apparently – you know, there's no other reason for me to be here. So at least I'm entertaining. So from that standpoint, we'll progress forward uh, and try to find something that resembles that thing called a winner. Um, so proceed with caution, folks. And remember, it's only $5 <laughs> that I'm about to take out of your pocket. So even if you get it wrong, I'll, I'll send it back to you. So there is that. Okay. Uh, anyway, what game were we talking about? Padres, uh, Nationals. Yeah. Patrick Corbin Day. Last time on this show, we tried to play on Patrick Corbin Day. Guess what? Patrick Corbin just stuck it right up our keister. So uh, six innings, three hits, and one run allowed against the Reds. But, you know, Corbin still, he's been better than what we've seen as of late. I mean, it's it, over his last six starts, three of them he only gave up one run. The other three, or the other four, rather, he gave up at least three runs. Patrick Corbin is what he is. I'm willing to play against him here again and trust the San Diego Bats to score at least four and a half runs here, or five runs in this case. Uh, because they have been hot. They scored a bunch yesterday. They scored four in the first game of this series. But you talk about the Padres and what they do on the road, uh, highest batting average on the road this season. They are top 10 in OPS and WRC+. Plus. Talk about runs scored. One of the higher scoring teams, top 10 runs scored on the road this year. So everything seems to fit in place here against the pitcher that can be banged around. You know Corbin's probably going to go five or six. He's just an innings eater no matter what, but the Padres should do well to get to get uh, runs against him. The last time he faced him in San Diego, they scored three runs against him, so uh, I would expect a little bit more of the same here, and plus you get a Nationals bullpen that's mediocre at best here, so uh, Padres over four and a half team total. There you go. You brought it. That was a uh, way to bear your soul there at the beginning, Zeno. It's going to turn around. Padres were my lone winner yesterday in a one-in-one one day. I like around. it. It's going to turn around? It will. Like turn around, let's be positive. Turn around to see John Wilson. Like, what, what do you mean turn around? You, you, so, some of the names were from that. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully, the show's still on. I mean, there we go. All right. Anyway, if you agree with Mark Zeno on the San Diego Padres going over their team total, nobody agrees with me. Right button. No, I no, agree with you. That. I agree no. with you, and you're a good man. And nobody stop it. Okay. Exactly. Well, there you go. The magic hand. The magic hand does not agree with you. Whoever's hand that is, they don't agree with you. Um, you I know what? You should agree. Ban, I think we have to ban the song for today. To be honest, with you. that's how bad it's been. Wow. So it's a slump buster. <laughs> the graphics are all coming out now. The slump buster by avoiding the slump buster is what you're saying. Yes. Today. I, I, need, okay. I, need, I need a double negative. Yeah. Google Mark Grace on Jim Rome if you need explanation for that reference, folks. Anyway, uh, I have a question for you, Mark Zeno. The Baltimore Orioles cannot lose to the Miami Marlins three straight times. No, oh, absolutely. They can. Please. Absolutely. They can. <laughs> They absolutely – I just want you to know that. Oh, the Orioles. Okay. Hey, look, you, you want to know why the <laughs> Orioles are going to win today? You want to know why? Because I'm probably why? not going to play on Because I played on them in game one of this series um, to score four and a half runs or more. They didn't do that. I played on them in game two of this series in the first five money line yesterday. They didn't do that. So I'll stay off the Orioles today because I'm sick of them, maybe. And guess what will happen? They're going to win 11 to 1. So, well, I hope that's the case because my my half of the double play. Look, we can't play them on the money line. It's minus two seventy. You have to lay minus one sixty to play a minus one and a half. So let's go alternate run line. This is a first on the morning wager. I'm laying the two and a half, basically You're even money man. with the Orioles. Look, 
Corbin Burns is on the mound. Very good pitcher. He needs no introduction. Roddy Munoz is on the mound for Miami. He's not a good pitcher. Okay, the last two days with Baltimore, I told you two days ago, Albert Suarez was a concern. Then they had your boy uh, Chase with the Y pitching yesterday. Today, it's Corbin Burns. He's very good. Roddy Munoz, massive, colossal, uh, gargantuan, dare I even say, starting pitching edge for Baltimore. Burns in the Cy Young discussion, obviously, in the American League. And, oh, by the way, he's 2-0 with a .45 ERA, three previous uh, games against Miami. You look at Munoz, he's got a 5.87 expected ERA. That's atrocious. Baltimore's offense, I think, should wake up here. They have been the highest-scoring road team in all of baseball. Miami's given up the most runs in all of baseball at home. Yes, I am sure. We're not laying half a run. We're not laying one and a half. We're laying two and a half. On the alternate run line, that is my half of the double play, Baltimore Orioles. There you go to go along with Zeno's team total on the San Diego Padres. Two early games for you. It's a short slate, like I said, but please feel free to drop in the comments section your favorite bets for Major League Baseball on Thursday. And of course, it is $5 customer appreciation day here at Wager Talk. My $5 special already posted on my page, wt.buzz slash bp. It is a side. I mentioned earlier my only side yesterday won uh, in blowout fashion, San Diego 12 to 3. So uh, we look to keep on going here today. Just $5 to get on board. Five. Can I just ask where we're going? We're going to keep on going. Where are we going? Like head first into a wall? What? I mean, what are we doing? Like, I just want to know where I'm we're going. going. I'm going no kayaking right. after this show. I, as you can tell, no, I am no. on location, by no. the way. So I'm going to go. Con- no. I may actually call you to save me because I don't know. Can I get across the lake? We'll see. Stay tuned to that. Uh, maybe I'll live stream that. Anyway, nobody mm. cares about that. But they do care about our show no. best bet, Mark Zinno. And our show no. best bet, we are. No. they do. And we are looking at the American League East. The Rays sure. and Blue Jays. Chris Bassett, traditionally better at home. It's not so much this year, but traditionally he has been. Uh, the Blue Jays won last night against the Rays. I have not mentioned run differential yet on the show, so I will point out that the Tampa Bay Rays, uh, no team has exceeded its Pythagorean win expectation more than Tampa Bay. We like Toronto to get it done at home today. Would you like to impart some wisdom on our fine viewers as to why? Sure. Betting on the Rays and betting on Toronto is like being awake for a colonoscopy and a catheter insertion at the same time. I hate both these teams. I absolutely despise both of them, and I despise betting on both of them. That said, um, Chris Bassett should have some regression to the mean at home where he's been better. His last two home starts gave up five runs against Detroit, gave up four runs against Houston. But if you go back... Uh, gave up one run against the Yankees, two runs against Boston, three runs against Pittsburgh, no runs against Chicago, three runs against Tampa Bay. So he's been much better at home um, throughout his career. Uh, he's just been a better pitcher at home. That's what we're going to bank on here today because, you know, uh, we do not believe that the Tampa Bay Rays are a good baseball team. All evidence of the contrary by the, every time we bet on them, they win. Or bet against them, we win. they win. So neither here nor there. But it's all about Bassett minimizing the damage here. If he can do that, Toronto should be fine. You get a little bit of weariness because of Toronto's bullpen, which is, you know, um, ass uh, is the best way to describe it. Second highest bullpen ERA in all baseball. Nonetheless, uh, Toronto here is the play because Tampa Bay is not all that good. And their bullpen isn't great either. So let's not, in a battle of bullpen, one's marginally worse than another. So uh, hopefully Toronto does, does it on the offensive and defensive end here. But Bassett at home is the way to go. Yeah, Toronto put four runs uh, on the board in the late innings against that Rays bullpen. Just to uh, put some numbers behind what we're saying with Tampa Bay's overachieving, 500 record on the year, guys, 51 and 51, but they have been outscored by 67 runs. That is, dare I say, 2023 Marlins-esque. Okay, show best bet is Toronto. I also think it's a good time to fade Taj Bradley. I don't think he can keep – he's faced a lot. I know the numbers look great, the recent numbers. He's faced a lot of weak lineups, though. Uh, I think Toronto's offense is due for a little uptick here in the second half, provided they don't uh, become massive sellers at the deadline, which it sounds like they won't be. All right. Hit that subscribe button if you already haven't done so. We always appreciate your support here on The Morning Wager. Mark and I – No matter what Mark says, I know he looks a little forlorn right now, but we will be back tomorrow. We are here every Monday through Friday. I might not. You're on Wager Talk TV. uh,
it's debatable whether I'll show up at this point. They say no man left behind. That's that's the one thing I know about the military. So there you go. I will not leave uh, you behind, sir. I, listen, I gotta I gotta tell you, there are some people we should have left behind. I, I guarantee you. Okay, all right. We're not gonna okay. Well, I, I do not want to take this on a dark place. On that note, please smash that thumbs up if you already haven't done so. Comment with your favorite it's, bets. Yes, we will be back tomorrow. No. It I'm is not, not a bad it, 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 not dancing. Nope. 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 Zeno's gonna have a winning day. If you don't make a play, you can't have a losing day. There's that.